Well, since I was a kid, I always loved drawing. And then I actually went to college for art and then decided that was a real difficult way to make a living. And then I decided to uh, switch gears and get a bachelor's degree in wildlife science. And I figured that was a tough way to make a living as well. So now I do the two together. So I'm a full-time wildlife biologist for the College of Natural Resources and Environment here at Virginia Tech and part-time artist, I guess, when the opportunities arise. But being a wildlife biologist, I've got a kind of a tie and a real feel for the natural resources of our area. So when they said they were calling for artists to make awareness of, you know, that rainwater drains into the storm drains, then into our local water systems, I figured, hey, that's right up my alley to um, kind of passionate about it and to, to get involved with it. And I'm very thankful that they chose my design to partake in this program. The town is growing, it's bringing more things in. When I first moved into town, um, it was mostly, a, almost strictly a science-based community. There was not a whole lot of public arts. And then slowly and surely, they've been adding that into the, the local landscape and into the culture. So if it, it gets ingrained more and more, it's just gonna grow and develop. Oh, that's some serious green. Oh, and having a project like this, I mean, this is the first one in this area to do something along these lines. You know, and it's a pretty progressive, progressive type of public arts project. I mean, I think the people of this community, they really care about it. I mean, there's always more that you can do, yes, but I think this is a great, um, a great opportunity to, to bring awareness to these things and to, you know, promote further and get the environmental awareness program even farther along. So it's all sponsored through the town, uh, paint the drains to bring awareness that all our runoff water is going right into the, directly into the waterways. So if you look around, we've got storm drains all over. Most communities have them. Um, but they're, they're kind of gray and they brown and they blend in with the sidewalk. And most people walk by them all the time, probably pay no attention to them. Well, if you've got a real bright primary color focus mural central around it, then that's certainly going to draw attention, attention to it, especially if there's um, you know, several of them around town all bringing that. So the more people become aware of something, the more that hopefully they'll, they'll care about it and become passionate about it. So I'm certainly with these colors drawing attention to this iron colored storm drain. I think it just adds a nice extra touch to a community that could be just like any town USA, but because they're doing things like this, it sets it apart, makes it a little bit more special, I think.